<clears throat> hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to go over the Series 4 Redux market crash. Now, as you guys do know, every Series 4 update just about destroys the market in some way, shape, or form for multiple reasons, more than one. But one of the ones being that it's just a big content update, right? Well, for starters, we've got a playoff promo part two. And then we also got a big content drop, so it's kind of a double whammy in general. It wasn't just so much the fact that, you know, there's Series Redux players, but Series Redux is one of the big parts of it, but Series overall updates in general do impact the market. I'll go over why as we go through this, of course, but for the most of you guys who do know, we're going to get right into the market as well. But before we get into today's video, guys, make sure to down below, smash the like button. You guys killed it yesterday. Thanks so much. A lot of you guys came out and showed the support I was asking for. How can we keep the momentum going again? If you're watching the video right now, takes two seconds go down below like the video it does help the channel out tremendously if you guys just go ahead and do something as simple as that so make sure to go ahead and like if you guys want to support of course and um that's about it if you actually do end up liking the video come drop a second like i don't really know but subscribe to the channel uh if you turn on the notify bell if you guys need coins head over to my reserve down below and use code poodle for 30 percent off But besides that, guys, let's get into the bulk of the video. Let's get into it. So, guys, if you want to know why there's a market crash because of Reduxes. So, a new series does drop. One of the biggest things that happen is series Redux players. Pretty much almost all LTDs that's come out um, in Madden convert to a series Redux player. Now, it doesn't mean there's no more LTDs. The LTDs are still there, but you can get a Redux option, which is pretty much a base card version of that. Same stats, half the price. So, a lot of people start pulling those cards a lot, which start going on the market, which then brings high overall LTTs down to the market at an affordable price or cheap price, which then makes other cards go down. But that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing also is increased pack odds. So if you guys didn't know, at every series update, they do increase the pack odds. So let's just say, let's see, do we have any base packs in the store for me to compare to? Let's go over here. Let's go check it out. Let's say a clutch pack, right? Prior to the series update, the clutch pack may have said 92 plus was a 3% and 89 plus was only 18%, right? But because of this, oh, and it might have been 83 plus 100 percent. So now they pretty much increased the overalls you can pull out 100 percent plus one. And then let's just say the 92 plus went up double the rate. So pretty much you're pulling 92s at a double rate, which effectively means all cards above 90 are going to be cut in half price wise, technically, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if, if, if that was what they were going at when they were pulled at that rate, now they're being pulled at a double rate. And again, you may not pull them, but if it's 7% and 100 people open them, theoretically, seven pull them, right? So now if there's a million people opening them, you know, 700,000 people. Or, you know, 7 million people pull them. Whatever it is. I know that math is bad. And real math would be if 100 million pulled, uh, pulled packs, you know, 7 million would pull them, which is 7 million cards in the block. Sorry for that first tr attempt at uh, the first fail I did there, I think. But, nonetheless, you guys get the point. So, with pack odds increasing, uh, there's just a lot more a lot more quantity of cards just going up in the block, which lowers their, you know, their rarity, which lowers their... It's just supply and demand, essentially. So, I mean, we, we all know how that works for the most part. So... I'm not too surprised, you know, by why this all happens. I'm just letting you guys know why. But let's get into it because, of course, let's go check out the actual crashing of it because, obviously, it's a big deal. Now, first and foremost, guys, the first thing you want to do in a series update is check out the Redux cards. You can get some great values, some great training values, and a few great things overall. It doesn't have to just be, you know, how other cards that have been around. The LTDs are great values and sometimes are the best values. So, let's see. Let's say you want a Troy Vincent. You've been wanting him. He's now 281. Now, Troy Vincent was not 281 for quite a while. He was pretty high price. Uh, Troy Vincent, you can get a 94 for speed, 95 acceleration corner. That can get 99 zone. And 99 player, I believe, for 281K. Now, I don't think he's the best buy. But making a point now, Heinz Ward, 290. Great wide receiver. I can be powered up. He'll get 94 speed with great, almost max route running and almost max catching. He'll be one of the best receivers in the game with great after the catch ability, and he's only going to be 280K. Again, maybe not the best wide receiver, but he's really good. Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon is one of the best quarterbacks in the game. All threshold passer. 99 throw power. Powered up and chemmed up. Oh, he can't be powered up. He can't be chemmed up. Everything. He's amazing. And he has 84 speed. One of the best quarterbacks in the game. Field general should be able to get hot route master. And he's only going to be, you know, whatever that price was, you know, 298. Um, there's plenty of good guys here, too. That's not just what we're talking about. It's Kyle Williams, Jermichael Finley now. These are a bit more expensive, guys, because these are these are higher reduxes, 97 overall. So, you know, they're not just falling out of hats right now. But Michael Strand, 600K, still a decent discount. You may even get that for like four or 500 as the days go on. Michael Strand's a great red end. And then, of course, there's even better values down here if you guys aren't high rollers like that. 
Lynn Swan, 135. Mo Lewis is really good, 138. Ronnie Lott, pretty solid. Chad Ochocinco, Chris Cooley, Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore's not that good. Cliff Harris is pretty decent. Steve McNair was a meta quarterback for a decent amount of time, so you can go ahead and get him for a good price as well. And you, know, you just keep going on. You can really see here what is available and what isn't. Leroy Selman, uh, Lance Allworth, Cam Chancellor, all this for below 200K. You can even, and the thing about Redux, sometimes they cut their price in half. So, like, let's say, like, you really wanted, you couldn't decide right before the Redux. Check out Lynn Swan or Mo Lewis. They were like 220. If you just wait till the Redux came out, you can now get them for about half the price. You can get two of them for that price now, which is a much better value than, you know, than you think. Now, moving on from that, guys. So, those prices have crashed, as you guys can see. I mean, like, the, the Redux price compared to them have went down. Let's check out the highest overall prices here in general besides Redux. So, Let's go to the 50. You can now get Randy Moss, which seems to be pushing almost 200, high 200K if you wait long enough. So he's 345. If you get the right moment of the day or the right moment of the night or like a playoff quick drop, you may be able to snag him for low 300K, high 200K. But still, 345 for Randy Moss seems like a steal to me considering he is probably the best wide receiver in the game with that 96 speed, the height, the route running, and the catching. So I really can't discount the fact that you're getting an amazing well, you know, deal here. Michael Vick, the best quarterback, possibly the best quarterback in the game. 388 Deion Sanders Deion Sanders is still expensive I mean he's the best cornerback in the game so he's still retaining that value especially because of next gen because on next gen you know of course people are just burdened by everyone like speed's crazy so you need Deion's kind of counteract a lot of that and Lawrence Taylor they're still holding prices because they're not going to crash because increased pack odds don't mean that these are coming out but like you know these are still hard to get cards and for the most part at the end of the day they're the best cards at the position in the game. And they're not just the best cards at their position. They're some of the best cards overall you can even have on a Mutt roster right now. Like, it doesn't matter what position. Like, they're like you know those positionless guys like Lawrence Taylor, Vic, Dion, they always hold value. It's kind of one of those things, right? They're like an old-school sports card that just holds value forever. So, and then the thing is, they'll get another card, and they'll be powered up, and they'll go back up again. It's always in the deal with these cards, so you can't really take them as part of this market crash. And that's kind of just how this always has worked. Now, let's check out some legends. See, like, some of these legends, they do have reduxes now, so their price is going to be kind of weird. So, Troy Vincent, his legend card is 400 k His series redux is 280 So, you're saving a big value there. Michael Strahan's base 96 overall card is 512 His redux is high 500 k So, you guys can pretty much see what I'm, uh, the point I'm making here is that do not buy the legend card. Stick to the redux. It's a big it's a big dip versus what, you're, what you know what you kind of expect. And I'll see what else is in the 95, uh, 96, 97 range. So the Christmas players, Rob Woodson has come down to 430. I mean, they're not going to come down too much because they weren't too impacted by this because these were a lot of these were set masters, right? Or set players in, in the you know the Christmas sets. And they're not going to be getting pulled out of packs. And they also aren't reduxes, right? So they're kind of in that awkward in-between space. At least Bo came down. So Bo is a lot cheaper now, 540, so he's a lot more affordable. Of course, I do feel like we'll be getting a crazy back in the near future. But the thing is, I don't think the crazy back will come from Team of the Years. I think Bo still has... A decent amount of time despite that. But I don't think we have a crazy back coming from Team of the Year because I don't see them giving us a modern day back. Like if they gave us a Nick Chubb, he's not getting 97 speed. He's getting 94 max. I mean, that's just how Madden is, right? Maybe 95 for lucky, but he's not getting 97 to beat Bo. You got Dalvin Cook, I think 95. I do not think 96, 97. So it would probably have to come with maybe uh I mean NFL honors if we some for some reason get a running back. It would have to come with Super Bowl promo, like oh, I don't know. I don't know what legend running back old school. It'd go one crazy around that time, uh, unless we get like a, be a Davis. I mean, I I don't know, guys. There's just so much possibilities, but I do know that there will be a 97 speed running back at some point. It just won't be team of the year. So you still have some time left with Bo for a decent price, honestly. And then, guys, the guys you're gonna not get on a crash pretty much are going to be the recent LTDs like Lajarius Need, who's insane. But he just came out, so you're not gonna be getting that discount that you would normally get with some other guys as well. But overall, guys, you can pretty much see here. I mean, the base of the crash is pretty simple. Increase pack odds, redux cards, because you're getting that, like, how like, how do you justify buying a 95 overall card for 200k when guys like Troy Vincent and all these guys at reduxes are not that price? So everything has to come down with it. it doesn't Like, people aren't going to buy those cards. They can buy better value cards at a slightly higher price, if not near the same. And then these cards are just uber cheap, like, below 100, below 100k for almost every card in this list right here. It's pretty crazy. You know, some guys like Miles Sanders, Jeremy Chin, Austin Hooper, Nicky Roby Coleman, uh, D DRC, Julio Jones off for below 100k. You could build. An entire squad off this list right here, guys. And of course, you and oh, you know what else killed the market just to get this out? The two power passes. So we did get 95 overall power passes, 
which means that people are going to start selling their 95s, of course, because like if you had, let's say you had a 95 overall Troy Vincent again, right? Goes for 200, uh, you know, the action. He went like, like, yeah, 280 cans to the base legend. Now, you go put your power pass in, and then you quit, and then you sell your Troy Vincent on the block. So now Troy Vincent is going to be going up on the block a lot because all 95s are being replaced with power passes. So that's going to lower their price, as well as how much people value that overall because you're able to just go ahead and power pass any expensive one, right? But that's kind of the point there. Saquon Barkley used to be a bag, and now he's super cheap as well. I think at this point you guys kind of get the concept of the market crash. Series reductions are series series updates are always the biggest crashes. Tyree Kill is a great value now as well. 199 and you could probably get them for cheaper if you really were to filter it out here. Let's see. By Chiefs. And you can see that you can get Tyree Kill for oh 179. So that's not bad at all. He came down, so does his redux. Usually the cards match at some point in value, but that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel and want to know more, subscribe. If you guys want to know more about the market crash or any kind of advice or tips, comment down below or hit me up on Twitter. Twitter link will be down below in the description. Drop a follow and go ahead and DM me. And uh, yeah, smash the like button. Like I said, guys, if you are here, you can make a big dish. You can make a big change on this channel. All you got to do is smash the like button. If you guys show support each and every day, smash the like button. doesn't hurt. And of course, if you guys do need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. And take advantage. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.